Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at how we can embed Wakelet into Microsoft Teams. So what this will allow us to do is, rather than leaving the Microsoft Teams interface, you can actually embed Wakelet directly in. So you can use this, for example, to have a tab at the top for students so that they can access various resources that you've collated in Wakelet. But you can also message students with a particular Wakelet collection if they needed some more support post Wakelet collections directly into channels, and then also save various links and messages um, around those links that have been posted in the channel. So for example, if a student posts a really interesting article into the Microsoft team, what you can do is then actually take that link from Teams directly and save it into a Wakelet collection. I hope you find this video useful. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add Wakelet by clicking the plus icon and then choosing Wakelet. You can search for this if you can't see it straight away. Once you've added the Wakelet extension, what you can do is then add a Wakelet as a tab. So this might be, for example, a class Wakelet. Here you can see I've made a Wakelet about Microsoft Teams. I'm going to copy the full link at the top, not the short link, the full link, and then I can paste that into my Wakelet so that I can then present this to my students within the team. You can also post to the channel as well to let them know. So here you can see, look at the top now, my Wakelet has been added to my team as a tab and you can just scroll through this all within the team's interface. You can also adjust some settings such as rename it and you can even change the URL if you want to update it. Now you're not limited to just one once you've installed the Wakelet app, you can click Wakelet again and then add multiple URLs in case you have multiple Wakelets within that class team. You'll also see that this has been posted into the posts within the team. And you'll see an app at the bottom in chat and the writing menu. So here, for example, I'm going to search Flipgrid in my Wakelet collections. It's a Wakelet collection about Flipgrid and how to use it. And I can also post that directly into the channel as well. So that's really useful for providing information to students. Now it won't create a tab doing it that way, but it's a nice way of presenting information to students quickly using Wakelet. The next thing we're going to look at is also how to add a Wakelet into chat. So for example, I'm speaking to Elon Musk now, he might need some extra support and I can send a Wakelet collection directly to Elon. This example, I am sending a useful website link, but it could be anything. You'll notice now what I've done is ask students to do a website review, and you'll see that Elon Musk has put a link to a website on here. What I can do in the clicking the free ellipses is then choose the Wakelet collection and actually add that post to Wakelet. So again, this is really, really useful for being able to directly post links into our Wakelet collection. And here you'll see that that's been added now directly into the Wakelet. Now it's worth noticing a couple of things with how Wakelet works within Teams in the chat menu. The user must have a link attached to that conversation. So for example, if they are doing like a book review, it won't capture all of the information that the students put, but it will capture the link that the students had. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend.